All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hashtag all in interview series on Bunker Labs. So the purpose of this is to do three things hear from current entrepreneurs who are in the fight and highlight and elevate them. And second, to hear from entrepreneurs who have been there in the past, who've been through crises, whether it was 9-11 or a 2008 financial crisis. Uh, and third is to provide real resources. So you can go to bunkerlabs.org slash all in right now and click on those resources, hear from companies who have done it before. Uh, but today we've got one of our city leaders here from Columbus, Ohio, uh, AJ Orr. So AJ, take it away. If you don't mind, introduce yourself and your company before we get into it. Thanks, Blake. Uh, as Blake said, my name is AJ Orr. I am the owner and operator of Simple Plan IT. We're a digital risk management and cybersecurity firm. So what we do is we specialize in helping businesses protect themselves from the digital threats that they don't see coming. Um, I'm a military veteran, uh, and so I got involved with Bunker Labs, uh, really became a city leader most recently. So I think I've been on the city leader team for uh, maybe two months now. So super excited and just happy to be here and give back to the community. I love it, AJ. Thank you so much. Uh, and, you know, we, we you got the Bunker swag on, but you also got the Simple Plan IT. So uh, where can people go to find you? Uh, website is great, www.simpleplanit.com. Uh, we're also on LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, we're on Instagram, but we're not too active there just because it's not really our demographic. But LinkedIn would be a great place to find me. So just look up AJ or on, on LinkedIn. Love to connect. And uh, we're putting, I'm trying to put out as much content as I can based around the, the stuff and the situation that we're in currently. I mean, who's not going to Instagram looking for cybersecurity? <laughs> uh, so right now, when everybody is working from home uh, and, you know, on these quarantines or self-quarantines, uh, security, IT security and IT infrastructure is going to be a, a big, big deal. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about right now, just kind of what, what are you, what's, what's steady state? What are you going to keep doing uh, as, you, um, as you continue to move forward in this new environment? So this has been an interesting situation and development for us with when we talk to talk about COVID-19 and businesses, um, because more businesses are being pushed towards this uh, work from home, remote worker situation, and they weren't used to it. So cybersecurity is a big issue when it comes to all of these uh, new remote workers because they don't know how they should be operating at home because it's not something that they're used to doing. And so educating people on what they should be doing, how to look out for these things. Um, and we've seen a massive uptick in uh, cyber threats over the past few weeks because of this, because criminals know that uh, you've got less experienced people accessing things that they're not used to doing in an environment that they're not used to working from more than likely using devices that they're not used to and they're already preoccupied with other things and so they're capitalizing on our state of mind the calamity uh, and so what we're doing right now is really just trying to educate people um, on how do you be safe when you're working from home how do you do these things how should how should you be adapting to this new way of life uh, that we've all been forced into that we got to try to adapt to over the course of the next two to three weeks so who, who are some of the types of companies that you're working with? Like what, what kind of size? Are they small businesses? Are they big corporations? And then, you know, for all of us that are watching this from home right now, can you love like one or two super tactical tips on like what can we do uh, to make sure that we're good? And it sounds like you've got a lot of content on, on Simple Plan IT that we can go to as well. Absolutely. So when it comes to business sizes, uh, we operate in the small business market. Um, and traditionally that's, uh, we, we use the government's breakdown of a small business, so 500 employees and under is really kind of our sweet spot. Um, we can do more outside of that, um, and, and we've done some consulting work outside of that, uh, but we've got a security operations here where we monitor networks in real time. So uh, what we try to do is we detect security threats both internal and external in real time through our security operations center. Um, and the reason why I focus on internal is because what happens to those in, those uh, discordant employees that you have that may be downloading documents that you're not aware of, if you don't have that visibility, then they could be stealing intellectual property from the business and then taking it someplace else. Uh, we give a, a, a way to detect and protect against those things. But as far as things in which you can do now, um, the primary way that, that criminals are attacking is still through email. 
And so we put together a, a list in the, in, we've got a whole resource guide that we've put together, but uh, one of the things that we did was we put together a checklist of the seven things that you should be looking at when it comes to an email to determine whether or not it's a valid email or whether or not it's a scam. And, and so checking these things and teaching yourself, or I guess walking through and, and making it a habit to check these things on a continual basis will help to keep you safe. Um, yeah, that's great. So we can, if we can share that, uh, that resource, so part of what will, will come out of these, uh, all in interviews is uh, a nice PDFs featuring each company. So we'll share that alongside that. And then sounds like I need to go to, to Simple Plan IT and get that myself. So, so what are you going to stop doing um, right now? What's, what's changed uh, from, you know, a week or two now that we're in this phase, what's, what's on the docket? Uh, so for us, because this is a big security event and there's a lot more, security activity or cyber cyber criminal activity out there, uh, we've actually seen an increase. And so mm -hmm. one of the things that we've kind of cut back on doing is uh, we've cut back on some of the social media stuff because we've been creating content. Our goal right now is to put out as much free stuff as we can to educate people on these, on these, threats that are that currently exist that they don't that they're not aware of because yeah. uh, let's face it cybersecurity is a back of mind topic you know it's not front of mind until you suffer an incident at that point in time it's too late mm -hmm. um, and that's why 60 percent of small businesses that suffer a data breach go out of business within six months it's because they just weren't prepared sure. and that's what we're seeing right now with this whole COVID-19 is that the country wasn't prepared states weren't prepared cities weren't prepared businesses aren't prepared uh, they didn't have business continuity plans in place that were tested. They don't have these measures. So they're rushing into a lot of this stuff, uh, which we all know from any kind of military experience, uh, the minute that you rush into something is the minute that you're going to make a mistake and that can be catastrophic to the mission. And so that's what we're trying to educate people on. Yeah. And you bring up just a really good tactical point around the content. Like, yeah, you know, I, I think that Donald Miller and Storybrand, their sort of rule of thumb is putting 80% free content out and charging for 20%, but having that premium that they charge for for that 20%. I think right. a lot of folks, you know, look at that and think, oh, that's like, why am I giving this stuff away? It's like, that's your sales funnel and you're building that and you're building trust and you're building that relationship and, and you know, you're setting them up to be successful, um, which is which is just, yeah, I, I think a longer term way to, uh, to build, uh, get one, build, build your customers, uh, but build your business. So, um, all right. So hit keep, hit stop now. So, um, so, you know, on the start side, what do you, what's new? What's, what are you, what are you going to start doing? What are you really leaning into? We're really leaning heavily into learning as much as we can, um, with all of the, and this is an individual basis. So, with all of the free content that's out there, I mean, 15 Ivy League schools are putting free resources out there that you can take classes on. Uh, with all the downtime that we've got, uh, I'm trying to learn new skills and look for new opportunities and ways in which we can kind of pivot and grow through this. Uh, what, what I look at as an opportunity, yes, it's a, a chaotic situation, uh, but through every chaotic situation, there's always a silver lining. And so we're, we're continuously looking for the opportunity that we can add value, increase brand awareness, spread the news and word on what it is that we do, and pick up new skills along the way. So that's really been our, our core focus is taking advantage of some of the free resources out there that we can learn new skills that we previously didn't have time to do, nor do we you know, want to invest the capital in doing it. Uh, now that they're free and we've got time, Taking, taking advantage of, uh, full advantage of those and at the same time uh, looking for all the different opportunities that exist within our current niche that we can kind of spider out and, and expand the, the reach of our organization. Yeah, I love it. So uh, I'm going to kind of sum up and then, and then uh, we'll ask what are some of the resources that folks can, uh, um, can, can go to uh, with Simple Plan to be able to grab this. So you know, the keep side sounds like you're like you're busier than you've ever been. So it's it's putting out great content so people understand what the uh, what the challenges and opportunities are and how you can help. Yeah, you know, on the stop side, it's it's like like so social media stuff not important right now. It's like you know we need to make sure that we're focused on serving our customers and not being reactive, which I think is is just like the world tells you to be reactive, like the cable news tells you to be reactive, and you're saying like I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to, you know, approach this like I would in the military. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to put a plan together. I'm going to execute. Know that's not going to survive first contact, and then, you know, adjust um, and, you know, and start. I think the new skills and free, you know, is, is such uh, 
you know, you bring up such a great point because there's tons of great stuff that's coming out, right? And and people have time or, you know, maybe they're they're like, they've got their kids climbing on their back and they're trying to figure it out, but it's like, you could still, you know, pop in a podcast uh, while, uh, while, while they're taking a nap, hopefully. Uh, and then focusing on, on, on adding value. So, uh, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think folks, you know, I think we're, we're concerned about cybersecurity right now. I think a lot of us are trying to figure out what do you do about it? I think I'm sure like big banks and insurance companies are freaking out about it because they're not used to it. Um, right. So I think there's a, a lot that, that uh, simple plan can do to help people with that. So what's, what's one resource that can, uh, can help folks and where can we find it? So we've put together a resource kind of library, uh, which is a, we've got in there a checklist for remote workers. So how do you work remotely securely? And it'll help, you know, the end users as well as uh, the network administrators on the things in which you should consider having in place. Uh, we've got the guide that breaks down the seven tools or seven things that you should look at to dissect an email to determine whether or not it's a scam. Uh, we've got resources in there to help you create secure passwords because one of the weak points that uh, hackers and cyber criminals are exploiting right now are uh, the use of weak passwords or using your passwords in multiple locations. And then finally, we put together what we call a security basic training boot camp type of deal where it breaks down all the things from a small business perspective that you should be having in place so that you should have in place from a cybersecurity uh, perspective and just from good business practices and just educating people on that. And so uh, we're going to throw up a link on our website where you can access that resource guide. Um, but then I've also provided that to Liz where she can actually share that out to everybody as well. All right, and in the last 30 seconds, hot, you know, you're talking to entrepreneurs that are in this fight as well, um, mm -hmm. but we wanna make sure that this is helpful to you and helps to, to elevate you. So what, what's the one thing that, that you need right now or what are you looking for in terms of a customer? So you've got a group of people that wanna help and can make referrals and make introductions. So you know, ask, ask, ask for what's the, you know, the one thing that could help you move the needle right now. Uh, so the moving the needle right now would be if you are in contact with any CFO, um, because we understand the financial impact that this is having on businesses uh, from a risk standpoint and downtime, uh, in addition to the security aspect. And so would love to have conversations with CFOs to talk about what it is that they're experiencing right now and how we can help them to minimize uh, some of their risk and exposure, especially with all these remote workers. And then manufacturers. Uh, manufacturing is an in 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 industry space where they're incorporating more robotics and smart technology that they don't really understand how to secure. And that's really one of the sweet spots and areas in which we kind of shine in. I love it. All right. So if you're listening and you know CFOs or you know manufacturing companies, make the introductions. AJ or at Simple Plan IT, you can type it in the uh, in the chat box there, or uh, reach out to uh, to any of us and we can help with that. So you can find AJ on LinkedIn and Simple Plan IT. And thanks for sharing your story and for going all in so that we can learn from what you're doing. Thanks, Blake. I appreciate you having me, giving me the platform, and I appreciate everything that you're doing with Bunker Labs. Awesome. Thank you.